Hi, this is Jen. I want to give you a quick mini tutorial on how to add a user through your WordPress dashboard. Um, most of you will land on your dashboard looking at this page. Let's see if we're loading. So you, most of you will land here. If you need to add a user, you're going to have to go to the area here, scroll down to Users, Add New. And then when this little guy pops up, there's only a few fields that are necessary. So the only required fields are username and email. I tend to like to use a one word username that has no spaces or caps. You can decide um, if that's what you want to do or if you, you know, want to use something. I find the best way to do it if you're adding new users to your site is to actually use their name. So in my instance, I'll use Jennifer Keel. So see the whole name, no caps, no spaces. And then we're going to use the um, email address. Okay, so the only two required fields are username and email. You do not need to put a first name or last name unless this people, person's going to be an author and show up as an author on your site, in which case you can do that. You can also add this later. The, um, at any time you can go in and you can edit the user and put the name in there. But if you know this person's going to be an author, then you do want to put the names and that way it will show up correctly. Website I rarely ever use for anybody but you can feel free to do that. Now if the person who you're adding is a, as a user if you want to share with them the password you just click show password and then you can copy it. It's already highlighted so I use control C to copy and um, then you can just email it to them and say here's your username and this is your password or you can leave this button clicked right here that says send the new user an email about their account. Uh, I suggest doing that unless you have a reason not to do that. And then you decide how what the role is. Um, it looks like this is going out of the recording box right here. So let me see if I can pop that up a little bit by grabbing this. Let's see. No, it's still going to go out of that box. So anyway, um, for subs you, you, there's no reason to ever use subscriber really in this situation. So you might have it be a contributor. A contributor won't show up though at, um, on an author page. I find the best way is you're using author or editor or admin. And uh, if you want to go to WordPress and just search user roles, you can learn more about why you would choose any of those. Uh, if you are choosing admin, just remember that an admin has all of the same privileges that you do. You can revoke them at any time though. You can um, delete them or you can change their role at any time. So uh, that's how you do it. So you choose how like, for instance, I'll choose admin for this and then I'll just click add new user and I'm not going to do it because I'm already an admin on my site, but if I click add new user, it will automatically send me an email with my new password and my um, and my login and a link to log in and change my password actually if I'd like to. Okay, so that's how you do it. Thanks so much.